And hi, how you doing? My name is Alan Cook and I'm here to show you the um, greatest painting on the planet that's between the x-rays, between the one on the left of the bigger white eyes with the big old black head and whatnot that you would call the x-ray out of the Mona Lisa. And the other one that's brown that is a x-ray out of the Medeon painting, which is the first painting uh, of a duet of the older Mona Lisa, which I own and have found. It's a new lost painting. Now, the, the, this, this, this particular one I'm going to show you when you lay this particular painting right on up and you go right exactly right there at 100% matches. You'll see this, this little line in this body and it runs on down. You'll also see some of these little lines here and you'll see how the nose goes right through here and wraps around. I'm going to show you a few times. So I'm going to pull this down. What we're talking about is this nose. And we're talking about this little deal. Here is the same as this deal right here and this offset. This is a face with a nose. But it's also not only a face this way, it's also a body here and another face with a hat. And if you look over here with this little <clears throat> doodad back here, this is a face with an eye and a nose and a head here with a teddy bear on top. That's a cartoon of his. If you actually take a look at this particular piece that runs this way on an angle, it's a guitar-like type deal. And he's like looking down at his guitar playing. Leonardo da Vinci was a cartoonist that turned cartoons into portraits and portraits back into cartoons and continue that to a couple hundred thousand times. And, he, and by the time you're all done multiplying and adding, you would end up with the Mona Lisa in pixels. Now, you will see how this particular piece that runs through here, these pieces, how they're going to match 100%. Now, how can this match 100% into the Mona Lisa unless the individual who did this did this. Okay, so if Leonardo da Vinci did not do the x-ray in which so happens to be out of the Mona Lisa, which this is, and you'll then then this particular one wasn't done by Leonardo da Vinci because this one wasn't done by Leonardo da Vinci, which is absurd because this one was done by Leonardo da Vinci, and this one is. Now when I go to put this back up and get this line a hundred percent right on the part. You see how this line runs across? Okay, that means his face is here. So watch. You put it right there. You screw it right exact. That means his face is off the chart. But you see the back of his head right here. That white piece. You pull it back down. That's it right there. You put it back. Matches 100. Now you pull it back down. You see his guitar running this way? Okay, watch. You put it back up right there. Now the guitar. There's his guitar right here. We pull it back down, and you can see the outline of the guitar. See the outline zigzagging like this? That is it in the lightness because it it was not. You're you're talking about different layers in which pull out different colors, and it either was pulled out too much or um, not enough. One or the other. It's all, that it's the only way it could be because they're twins. I'll show you again when you lay these marks. This, this back up. This particular has a guy with a big nose, and here's his eye, and his eyes on the other side, black. Also has another totem pole head here, and, and zigzags on down. Now, when you pull this down, it's going to change with the sh shadowing of more like a cloud that you can see through the cloud to see the sky, but you'll get the variation of this. See, see that see it in black. And portion of the eye, this is eye in the black with the little white dot, it's the same. These two are the same. So how could this match up with this to match up? What a coincidence that it looks so much similar. Now this is a, a, a little line with, with an eye and an eye and a kisser and it kind of looks like a slingshot. I don't recall, but I do believe this so happens to be a taller person, and this is a little bit shorter person, and in black. When you pull this down, 
there they are right there. When you put this back up in the exact bit, okay, now you pull it back down, you can see how this has the black tall and this has the, a, a whiteness in it. And the reason why the colors change is because he changed them. He changed them with um, like invisible. So some, some other painting or image that went over the top of each one, he changed for the reason of that uh, penetration to take this one and lay over the top to get a better um, uh, view. Kind of like uh, when you go and you've seen the old movies that uh, the um, the uh, 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 police officers say, well, he had a mustache, you know, how big was his nose, and they keep throwing uh, transfers, layers over and over and over again until you get your build. If you take a look at this guy that runs over with the shoulder, okay, it's going to be kind of big. But it came out in white. But now I know you say, hey, how come this is over here and here? Because what he's got is this party and this party that is added to throw the difference is uh, also from another picture of something which I haven't found yet. In other words, he continuously laying over these things that confuse you what the issue or the item is that is what we're looking at. So when you take a look at this face here, this face with an eye and an eye and a nose here and a mouth, and it runs here and it runs down kind of like a neck, it's the same as in here. So when you take this again and you put this up in here, like right there, you see this image. You, I'm going to hold it right there. There it is. Okay, it's and, and it's blurred to even go over to the other side. So when you put this image in this image, it fits the same in the two. It actually follows more. There's an eye and an eye and a nose here, an eye and an eye, and another eye and an eye. And what he does is he builds those like telephone poles. And there you, there you got them. You see them. And here you got them. When you put this back up, you're going to see them again. And pull it back down. And they're in here, these guys. I, 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 I. You see, this is a bunch of words that run across, coming like Rinko or Rico or something. If you line this up in the area here, okay, you can see that there's some kind of run hidden throughout here. Whatever it is, has to be what he wrote. And it and it doesn't it does not come out nowhere near what I want to show you but you know that there's something there in a vague background kind of like a shadow if if uh, um, you keep looking you're gonna find that his images uh, will will show It's kind of hard to let you know. He lets you know the puzzle piece, but if you look down here, there's a little body of a, a head with a, a coast. And you push it on up, it fits right into this bigger square area with a body. You pull it away, and it's not there, but you know that there was something that was supposed to be with that image. So he's letting you know that the puzzle piece that you're playing with is at the right mark. So we're set at the right mark. It's just that. Whoops, my. Uh, um, mouse pad slid off because it's this is preset. Let me get this back up here. I got off off track, please. And then. I'm just looking for other stuff to, to to see where, regardless regardless if if you're able to see 50% uh, of what I say on this camera setup, or if you're able to see 100% of it, uh, there's absolutely even if you found one out of the 10 items in which I I showed, how in the world would anybody know what's in here that is in here, okay? 
I mean, it's it's a hundred percent. And I've been I probably got nearly four thousand images now that match a hundred percent. And if you follow my YouTube's, you'll find that to be true. You're going to find that when I go to disconnect this, you're going to find that. Let me disconnect it. Oh, shoot! Sorry. I got I had it pre-locked. Okay. And when I go to disconnect it, I don't know what happened to it, but let me go and find it. Here it is. Here's this one. And you'll find that this one, when I go to lower it, is this, which is in one of my YouTubes. This so happens to be my man looking this way. The image in which we were at was we were examining this particular guy. You see his nose, his eye, his eye. But actually, when you blow it up, there's the Qatar guy that's in here. Here's the little Qatar guy. Okay, so when you deal with him, you'll find out that he, okay, is actually, when you get into this, which is actually this face that's off to the left of us, is actually in the Mona, and then in the Mona, you're going to find out that this guy right here that we we're talking about, the guitar guy, he's sitting right in here, 100%. And anybody that says otherwise doesn't know uh, the words Leonardo da Vinci. Leonardo da Vinci is a master of hiding his works. And I can't believe that the people who own the Mona Lisa have the Mona Lisa has concealed it or has no, they've been paying people to work on it that have not been doing their job. Okay, it's either they've done their job to hide what's in the Mona or they haven't been doing their job to find out what's in the Mona. It's either one or the other. And that's a fact. And I don't mean to get huffy about it, but I know when I pay for something, I want to know what I'm buying. And that's a fact, too. I mean, if you want a car that's got air conditioning in it, and they say got air conditioning, you can't even find the knob, and you can't get anything to blow out of it, not even heat, along, along with the cold that you want, you're not getting what you paid for. Now, again, the Mona Lisa is... Uh, several things okay it's a single portrait done by Leonardo da Vinci and the painting we're talking about so happens to be this particular painting which I'm going to blow up right here and you're going to see how it comes right on out and here it is this is the um, lost painting that I own, it's called Me Dion, I named it, I'm allowed to, I'm the owner of it, and I named it because Me Dion means my best boyfriend in the whole wide world. Leonardo da Vinci loved Sali, and he loved Melzi Francisca, okay, some people call him Francesco, or I'll pronounce them the way I, I know it for right now until I get corrected better. Um, but let me let me just try to tell you something, okay? If you could be the greatest mind, the greatest heart, greatest lover, greatest painter, greatest scientist, greatest mathematician, greatest um, uh, um, um, partier, um, handsomest, uh, um, kindest. Um, he was like a Dr. Doolittle. Here, here we go. He was like a Dr. Doolittle. He had animals in this in this painting so that I'm not able to show you a lot of this stuff because I don't have the equipment or, or the money. And, and I'm working on it. Trust me. But uh, uh, he was loved by everything. Every single thing. Um... I wouldn't doubt if he knew he could control the world um, with his abilities of his connections. Um, 
maybe you call it like you, so you do a stock or whatnot, inside trading. Um, it was he was a very 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 um, uh, uh, well um, man that would be able to make a lot of moves if he needed to. He would be able to have a lot of people uh, back him up, and um, I wouldn't doubt out of my guess over three hundred individuals that I would believe that would be his guards in the sense of pupils or um, 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 co-workers or um, social people or um, business associates, uh, friends, lovers. I would, I would say not, that there probably wouldn't be uh, any doubt that I wouldn't think that he, if he was like the President of the United States, not one of them would hesitate to jump in front of the bullet if there was a bullet back then coming out at him. That I believe he was loved that much. Some people would say, well, the records don't show that. Well, you know, uh, I've been in business for 38 solid years, and I'm an oddball. Um, it's hard to believe that I've had business for 38 years and I've had zero complaints with the Better Business Bureau. And uh, that's because that's where my heart is. I'm, I'm a giver, not a taker. And I believe in um, speaking the truth. I believe in my God. I believe in the people that uh, uh, should speak the truth. My heart gets broken of what's out there. I'm sorry. I said, boy, mom. Uh, the world is sick, and she says, no, and the world ain't sick. The world's beautiful. It's the people in it that are sick. And she's trying to let me know, watch out for the people, because they lie for money. Well, I'm not lying for money. I'm telling you that I will take this painting all day long in front of any authority, all day long, and show them in every single little detail and if they don't have a bull head in them and a screw holding them down to try to get a negativeness out of it and don't have an open mind because it took me 10 solid weeks to understand his twisted codes. I got zero at 10 hours a day for 10 solid weeks of trying to figure out his codes. For you to see what I see and I tell you I'm so far into his work that I know how to read those things that don't look much to you. But it's it's kind of like um, algebra. And you look at algebra and you see all those X's and O's and backwards S's and, and uh, uh, weird looking eyebrows and how this equals 2 plus 2 equals 99.9999 minus 3, whatever. Okay, and then you got the nuclear bomb. I don't understand any of that stuff. But what I'm trying to say is, is I, I figured out a lot of his little N's and his M's to turn into N's and his N's turns into R's and his M's are O's and his M's are L's. And, and yes, he uses the same word, the same letter, and he uses that letter to be in different layers and even some even in the same layer that he can write his whole diary um, uh, uh, in um, uh, different depths each time you open it it changes and what I mean by that imagine a dot okay you only see a dot you open it up and it gets bigger and let's say you open it a hundred thousand times its size now all of a sudden it's a big old twisted um, kidney shape. And out of that kidney shape, because it was a dot, but now you're starting to see the imperfections and things shooting out like rays out of it. Well, those little rays are people swinging and, 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 and flying on uh, uh, airplanes and flying into the background. Now, I'm almost positive I'm changing the subject, but anyway, out of all that stuff, he will build his uh, 
he would build his, uh, his ways. You see this? What's that look like to you? Not much. I agree. Now, if you take this one image, and I will guarantee it, that this one image, <laughs> I better not say guarantee it, probably be the only mistake. Okay, if I take this one image right here and I blow it up, what are you going to see? I guarantee he's flying. See, this is something right here like a plane and this is a person sitting on it and they're flying and he's got this one here with these people on it these these will be blown up into stuff um let's see i know that's difficult for you to see but if you actually look at this this runs down and booms and the feet goes down into here okay you get it on down he's he's riding so when you when you end up with these items in which he has, watch this. Okay, here we go. Um, it's, it's really rough on me. I'm sorry. Uh, so, okay. That's the face we've been playing with. But when you take this face, And you look at it. I had another particular image that fit in here in one of my YouTubes. And then you can slide it on over and it'll go into here. But if you took the one image in which we saw that we went from here and here and it fit, it actually is the same image as this. See, this is the same image as the one in which we were showing on another YouTube in which was in his works. Um, let me get into let me get into something here that where you you will or will not follow. If you're if you're interested, just stick around. Okay, so if, um, you're invited. So um, this is also the Mona Lisa. This is the same as the Mona Lisa. This is the Mona Lisa. X-rayed. Does that look like the Mona Lisa? Uh, that's because he had something underneath the Mona Lisa as a build. That is the Mona Lisa. Okay. And so we're going to get rid of that. That's a fact. What is this? That is the Mona Lisa. Okay. But under a different layer of X-ray. What is this? That is the Mona Lisa under a different x-ray. How she keeps changing different? Because it's different layers. That is the Mona Lisa. Now, okay, now you've seen all those Mona Lisas. Now I'm going to see if I can show you something that you would um, notice in the sense. Um, okay, this Cannot be seen with the human eye that is in me, Dion, 100%. It's above my woman's hair. Now, microscopic, we're talking, it is, you can see a pixel. You can actually see a pixel. You take Go up to your TV and look at that one little dot, okay? You can see those, okay? Most people don't look, but you can see them. This is not even able to be seen. It is smaller than whatever you can't see. Okay, until it's super suited. Uh, super, super. Does that look like an image that was made accidentally with a slip of a brush? Okay. How are you going to get a slip of a brush with, you know, 40 different colors in there. You got a light blue, dark blue, lighter, lighter blue, white, off-white, green, yellow, um, beige. Um, it goes endless. Black. Okay. Now, when you actually blow this up, and I'm going to have to probably pixelize it, it's actually one hugging another person, and it gets even wilder, especially when you turn it. Do you see the faces? Do you see those faces? I pixelize it. You see that face? Okay. You see that face right here? 
I don't know what happened to my image. So you, you do see this face. And you do see this face. Okay? Now I'm I got poor equipment. How come they can they got that in the Mona? They got the Rubik's Cube man, I call it, in the Mona, and they won't show it to you. Is it because they don't know it's there? They didn't look hard enough? Or they want you to know that the Rubik's Cube Man is in Leonardo da Vinci's works. Microscopic. And if you actually take this image and you go over and I turn it, watch how it turns into a face. See? You, do you see the eye and eye in the mouth? Okay. Each time you turn this, it changes dramatically. Do you see the other faces in the blue? off to the right of it. The man was a compulsive, compulsive addiction of ism that would not keep his hands off of um, painting something else. Now, I'm going to get into something else here, too. I mean, I love this. Um, I'm tired in the sense, and I could use brakes every now and then. Now, I did mention that what Leonardo da Vinci is of his works, of what it is of the man of the with the penis. If you actually take this painting and uh, of uh, works of his, and you blow up the private area of of um, this, unfortunately. And you blow you blow that up. That is exactly exactly the same the same as the Mona Lisa, okay? And it fits exactly in. Watch. It's it's really sad that that, that uh, maybe that's why they're concealing it. They don't want the private part to know that the Mona Lisa is a private part, okay? I don't know. Maybe. Uh, uh, we we shall we shall uh, we shall see. Okay, let's see if you can figure this out. I did this before on one of my other YouTubes. I don't know why I have to repeat it, but uh, the reason is is that it, there seems to be some doubt. And I think I laid this up here. I think it has to go bigger. Takes a while for setup, so I don't know why I, I jumped to this, but I don't want you to think I'm a liar. If you look at the same design and the curvature, the curvature here, you see the curve? Okay, if you take the same, it's identical. So what he what he, he was he was in love with his lover. And if you actually take it and also scoot it on up, it fits the same. So if I blow this up again, and I could take it this way, and I can go this way. fits 100%. See, these lines here, these lines running through here, are not 
these lines run in here are not it. These lines are, and these are. So when you run the Mona up into this area, and you and you follow it exactly up into the, the top, and you scoot it right to the shoulder part, she's designed the same as the body of of the uh, of the works that we're talking the man with the penis. Now, if you take this and you take my works and you put it in any one, you put it in him, you put it in her, you put it in, you put it in uh, in between. You will see that this design here is exactly, exactly the same curvature as him. He fits. He also fits exactly in the same curvature, fits in the body of the same curvature, and fits exactly in the curvature. If she slid over to him, they'd be tight. If he slid into her, he'd be tight. If you put this picture in between, in them, either one, it's the same. He was obsessed. And somebody told me that apparently back then when you're dealing with the private part of a um, back then that uh, you're like high end in the sense of religion and, and, and domination and, and uh, strength and power and it, uh, that you were um, a um, powerful individual to express your uh, great um, thing. And I don't mean to be sarcastic or anything about it, but it comes out to be, uh, I, I think I killed two birds with one stone on saying thing uh, in many different ways. Now, I, I would like to end that particular item by just taking this right out and apologize if it bothered anybody because it kind of really bothers me to even have to show what I really know what's in the Mona. But because... You know, you don't go around showing naked items all the time, you know, even though there was Playboy books and all kinds of things of that. And I'm just trying to do it discreetly. And not only that, it is on the Internet to where I pulled it off. Uh, apparently, other individuals are interested in the study of of uh, his work. So th this, this was only a, a study deal, okay? This is a true study deal. It's nothing to be offensive and... Um, Forgive me if anybody did, but I want to turn around and tell you I have thousands of more. I have about another 700 more YouTubes I want to boot up in the next uh, couple of months. I, uh, I have another uh, 20 that's still sitting that I need to boot up. It takes me about a half hour to boot each one up that are sitting by on standby. Um, I'm uh, again, buying an x-ray machine. I have uh, about 13 Camaros for sale. My phone number is 707-568-7022. You can leave a message. Somebody get back to you. I have a company called Camaro Land. I have a company that is in the metal business. I do warehouse buyouts. Um, I'm into antiques. I'm doing YouTube and studying. And I wrote books. I have a, another book that should be coming out called The Sickness of a Will. Um, I had a $720,000 deal in which went on that, in which I paid out. I have um, a lot of ordeals uh, that are uh, burning, and I need to um, really eliminate most of it uh, because my love is this, this type of work and I really need uh, to get uh, taught on how to do editing. I've never done any editing. I didn't alter anything in the sense. I only blew things up and only showed you what it so happens to be what I seen and what I think is. And if you have any other ideas on your own, what you think it may be, uh, everybody's entitled to their opinion. And um, if you uh, have any ability to... Uh, um, uh, be uh, 
able to uh, help me in uh, my uh, wishes of what I wish to do in the future um, uh, or present, um, you may email me at medeonpassion at gmail.com or camarolandman with, with five sevens at gmail.com and you will can, uh, be uh, answered. But I want to say um, good night and with these words may I say um, God bless the whole world the universe and the heavens and I truly mean it and I truly mean to be safe we just got out of that fire deal here in North of California um, and um, thank God for the firemen Amen